Well, hey, everybody. Um, so I just want to do a short message here. Uh, many of you know that I've been to 37 nations and four continents, and I've spent the last 12 plus years in many ways outside of the United States, which puts you around a whole bunch of mindsets, puts you around a whole bunch of different stuff, which was really where the religious deconstruction has happened for me. Now, I'm not here to speak about my process because I'm slowly unpacking that for people in my Facebook posts. But I do want to talk about the response that can come from those that are still in the religious community or church um, towards those who have been through a deconstruction process or are now reconstructing that process or they've even had a spiritual awakening. And I would have to say that, you know, mine really there was deconstruction. Now I'm reconstructing and I'm also having awakening through this. It's important to remember that those who are deconstructing from religion did spend a lot of time in church. They didn't spend like one year in church. A lot of them spent years in church, serving in church. So they understand the lingo. They understand the jargon. They understand what's going to come usually out of uh, church people. And, you know, they have a lot of, um, yeah, just some rebuttals for that. And there's all sorts of different things with that. But let me just say this. I think that the church could actually do a much better job at loving people and being very unconditional towards those who have been through a process. What I have seen in my own journey and what I have seen from other people's journeys is there can very much be an assumption, totally an assumption made, that this person is wayward, that this person is in rebellion, that they are going down a dark path and everybody needs to be concerned. Now, um, I completely understand uh, with certain religious mindsets how that can cause people to actually have those feelings and have those thoughts. But it's really important to not lump all people who are going through a religious deconstruction or have come through it and are on the other side and are rebuilding now um, as completely and totally off the wall. Each deconstructor, each person who has gone through this process is having different things revealed to them, is having different things torn down and things rebuilt again, or having awakening. So it's all very, very different. And so when there are just pat answers given, when there's just this slap on the, the wrist that this is what the answer should be, there's obviously going to be something that's going to rise from the person in that journey and process going, wait a minute, you're not really hearing me. And I think that that's what I want to address. I want to address the idea of really listening to the person who's been through the process. How did they come to these conclusions? How did they move from one conclusion here and now we're in this other conclusion? For me, honestly, it was getting out of America and it was living overseas and and really just having a lot of different things flip around and things, you know, um, you know, pulled out of comfort zones and pulled out of little group tank, you know, think tanks and all of that stuff that will actually grow a person. And so please keep in mind that those who are on this process, well, they're not as retarded as you think. They're not as blind as you think to a system. They're not... Um, as dark as you think and well honestly a lot can be learned from somebody who's gone on journeys and somebody who's gone on processes and I think that that's the thing if the church listened more to those who are either leaving church or are leaving ministry or are deconstructing the Bible or whatever it is that they're deconstructing, whatever it is they're redoing again in their lives or having something happen, it's important to remember that the Holy Spirit is doing this. They're not just doing this. Not everybody on the path is suddenly deciding in their own mind they're going to do something. But the Holy Spirit's involved um, and they just have genuine questions. And that's okay, and that's normal. And if we don't have those type of questions and we aren't asking things like that, then we just get very stuck. And I believe that spirituality is very evolving for people. And I believe that it involves um, a lot of twists and turns and life situations and all of those things. So the next time you hear somebody or read something from somebody who's been through a certain process that maybe you've never been through, ask yourself, how am I looking at them? Am I judging them? Am I assuming that they are a certain way? Um, do I see them as immature? Do I see them as um, they don't have really formulated thought? They're just jumping around? Because I can tell you, most people have been through a really, really, really deep process. And all they want to be heard is to be listened to. You don't have to believe what they believe, but to at least give them a chance to explain.